Good morning, friends, and happy, happy Friday, day after Valentine's Day. I just left floor and decor. I said I wasn't coming back, but we decided last night, kind of at the last minute, that we wanted to change the tile color around the fireplace and change the tile around uh, for the backsplash. So we went from gray to white, and then around the fireplace, we opted for that more expensive tile. So that's what's happening now. Tommy, the builder, just said uh, that the cleanup guy should be at the job site and that the water meter guy should be there and the grading guy should be there. So things should be happening at the house today. I called Verona about the tile, um, the granite that we got because I told you guys the granite that we got was more yellow than I thought it was supposed to be. And she said he they shipped it out. So I don't know if it just looks more yellow. I was kind of hoping that there was a mistake, but it doesn't seem like it. But anyway, okay, now I'm off to get hot chocolate and off to work. I'm now at Cosmo Nail and Spa, about to get my Manny Petty on. I haven't been in probably two months. Long overdue. I don't even want to show you because they're so gross looking, but I'm gonna get them done. I'm done with my Manny and I got, it's color number 169. I think it's called the Next Gen Colors. And then I got my toes done. And I also got a little 10 minute like shoulder massage. So I'm feeling quite relaxed right now. I'm gonna head home and, sounds kind of bright. Um, head home and I don't know what we're gonna do for supper, but uh, yeah, gonna relax this weekend. I do have a Facebook Community Leadership Circles event tomorrow to go to and Marvin's gonna go to Tango Tap for us. And yeah, other than that, relaxing weekend. I am gonna work on Monday though, even though it's President's Day. I've got a couple things going Monday. Tuesday's the appraisal for our house. So gotta get the house straightened up again for that. And yeah, all right, let's go home. We're getting route put into the guest bathroom. And he has tiled the back slush. Having a little trouble with the fireplace, but we'll see if we can't make it work. Here's the backsplash. Looking pretty. And then over here, backsplash behind the stove. I think that looks nice. I think if we had done the gray, it just would have made it too dark back there, but I think that looks nice. Hey guys, I'm at the house. I just left. I showed y'all a little bit of it, but here's what just happened. So I came in and I'm looking at the fireplace and the the tile in the fireplace is kind of going like, like downward and it's not supposed to. And so um, I was kind of like, hey, so I texted Tommy, our builder and, and Marvin. I was like, hey, so how about that fireplace? And um, the tile guy said he was having some trouble with the tile cuts because they're small pieces and then he wasn't sure that the pattern was actually gonna like line all up like it should because it's a herringbone pattern. So um, I said, okay. I mean, you know, what else can we say, right? And um, so we're gonna go back to our original plan of using the graphite gray glass. It's called, gra the, gra the color's graphite, I think. Um, and he's gonna, uh, take what he didn't use and what's okay to return it's gonna take that back and get the gray glass so that'll keep us better in budget so that's a good thing and it'll bring out some uh, darkness because we have a lot of white in the living room and although we're gonna have like gray couch and stuff like that we still have a lot of white going on in the living room so that will bring out some gray color some darker tones in the living room kitchen area so that'll be good and yeah, and the bathroom, uh, I checked on the, uh, my parents just stopped by and so I gave them a tour of the house, if you will. And so we were looking at the guest bath and he was actually chipping away some of the tiles. So I don't know if some of the tile messed up or whatever and he's replacing it, I don't know. But he's grouting in there and it's looking really good. And then they're gonna grout the master and then the master shower. Uh, and he's started to get the backsplash up so that's looking really pretty too. So pretty happy with that. But yeah, so that's it. So now I'm gonna head home. I don't know what we're having for dinner, but I'm sure it's gonna be yummy, whatever it is. 
and that's how my day has gone so far. I got my nails done I told you guys about and I got my toes done and I got a little bit of a massage on my neck and shoulders and so that's feeling pretty comfy now and yeah I'm gonna go work on some things and call my lender back because she called while I was talking to Tommy and my folks and yeah so that's what we're gonna do. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm probably gonna forget to end the vlog and then it'll be like late and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I forgot. But tomorrow I'm going to that Facebook Community Leadership Circles meeting. So that's gonna be awesome because it's about engagement. And that's a topic that is near and dear to my heart and I could always learn more about. So I'm excited about that. I think that's it. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I plan on getting caught up on these vlogs really, really soon. I promise, really soon. It's just with the, this house, with the sale of our other house, and I found out the appraisals on Tuesday, so I've got to get prepped for that. And there's documents that we need for the sale of that house, and then this house, and and then the houses that I've got listed, and the house that my clients are buying. Just a lot of stuff going on. And the Domino's guy's going through the Jack in the Box line. That's funny. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you.